Well, hello foresters. We are back here in the food forest kitchen and this is going to be another one of my cooking tutorials. I haven't done one in a while, so I'm really excited about this. This is going to be a first for two things for me this time. This is going to be the first time I boiled peanuts that I have grown myself. We got the seeds from Rob over at Essian, Essian, I can't say that right. Essian, Essian Family Garden. Yes, what she said. <laughs> So, and we are really excited about this. Uh, Rob is one of our favorite channels to watch, and he hooked us up with the seeds. These are, what were these again? Which kind? The They're Virginia uh, Jumbo Peanuts. Virginia Jumbo Peanuts. And uh, we've eaten a few of these raw, really good. Um, we even roasted a couple in the air fryer a little bit, a handful of them just to test them out really nice peanuts we really enjoyed them so this is going to be the first time that i boil peanuts that i did myself that i grew myself and this is going to be the first time that i do it in a pressure canner or a pressure cooker so we're starting off with green peanuts these are green peanuts and they're nice and plump, but I also got some of these little small ones down here. These are a big treat for me. They're, uh, they're super soft. When you cook them, they get nice and, and tender, and I eat them shell and all. So I, these, are, these are like a little bonus. So I made sure I got all those in here too. So we have three pounds of peanuts. We have one third cup of sea salt and one tablespoon of garlic powder. Now you can use, uh, Amy doesn't, I like the spicy ones. Amy really don't like the spicy ones. And I wanna kick this up a little bit of a notch. So we're gonna add some of the garlic to it. You can just do straight salt. You can add cayenne pepper to this, uh, pepper flakes. There's lots of things that you can add to this, kick these things up a notch. So, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to be using the sea salt and the garlic powder. And we're going to be using this pressure cooker. Now this cooker, the timer only goes to uh, 30 minutes. So we're going to run it to 30 minutes. Then we're going to check them, see if they're where we like them and check the salt level make sure that's going to be and if they need to be cooked a little longer we'll we'll add more time to it so let's get started and get these peanuts in here now when you get green peanuts you have to make sure you rinse them very well because they grow in the ground you can buy it when you buy them in the store they're usually in a bag and there's still going to be dirt on those things so make sure you rinse them very well show this to you right here here's the peanuts now I'm going to add the salt I know that looks like a lot of salt but that's only half of what these recipes called for I've boiled a lot of peanuts before in my time but this is the first time I'm doing it in a pressure cooker it's supposed to take just a fraction of the time normally when we do them we uh, put them in a crock pot and let them cook for like eight hours. So this is a, this is a first for us here. 
and we're bringing you along for the experiment. I need more water. Yeah, I'm gonna need more water. You know what? Let's just, we just wanna get these peanuts covered good. <laughs> gonna go put it in the sink. <laughs> Here we are. Now peanuts float, so I'm going to be taking this bowl or this plate, this plate, <laughs> and put them on here to try to keep them down to get most of them underneath the water as much as possible. So. Now, what's the temperature you're going to set that to? Um. I'll have to look on this. I should have checked that out. Shouldn't have I? <laughs> that probably would have been a smart thing to do. <laughs> well, this will be a blooper reel. <laughs> okay. So. You remember how to use it? Yeah. So we're going to do pressure adjustment. You don't set the temperature, you set the adjustment. Eight. 80? Well, yeah. That's 80. 80. So, and. That should automatically set the time. Yeah. 30 minutes. Do you want to double check? No, nope, it's right there at it. Okay. I meant the manual. No, we're good. Are you sure? Yep, it's <laughs> counting down. It'll start up. <laughs> And we want to make sure that's closed up top. Yep. All right. So uh, we'll bring you back in 30 minutes. And we'll let you see what we got. All right, guys. Um, we've let it cook for 30 minutes. Um, this one does do for 60 minutes. I thought it only did for 30 minutes. But it will um, pressure cook for for 60 minutes, but we still only did it for 30 um, because we wanted to test it to see because this is the first time we're pressure canning. So. Pressure cooking. Yes, well, yeah, sorry. Pressure <laughs> cooking. <laughs> so, let's get it opened up. I already let the pressure off. So let's, ooh, that's hot, that's hot, that's hot. Careful, right careful. Here, so. All right, so let's you test You might one. need to add more water. No, there's still... Plenty of water? Yeah. Very hot. Let's get this open here. I kind of mashed that one up. I'll eat that one. Try one more here. Pretty good. Not quite cooked long enough. Um, the salt level's not up to what I'm used to. But so do you want to add more salt to it then? No, we're trying to do better with salt. Or do salt. you want to do more garlic powder? You know what? Let's do that because the All garlic right. flavor really isn't that strong. Okay, let's add more garlic powder. So let's... Got plenty of goodies over here. Break out. We did one tablespoon. So you're going to do another tablespoon? Well, let's do another tablespoon. And let's see what we get with that. Because we're trying to do more flavors and less salt. Yeah. So. Especially if this is going to become something we're going to be growing year-round in batches. Yeah, we're going to have to watch the salt level. Let's go with a little more garlic powder. Okay. Boy, that brine is it's really salty, but it's not getting really getting through to the... Well, remember, we still got another 30 minutes of cooking this, so... And the longer it's... The peanuts set in the water, 
the more they'll get too. Yeah. Because so. they'll have to cool down, which means we might have to let it cool down overnight. Yeah. So, we got that mixed in there good. Oh, get the shells off the plate there. Oh. <laughs> need to cook the shells more, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to do another 30? Yeah, let's do another 30. Okay. Pressure adjustment. Okay. And no Cooper. Cooper's all, all right. curious. Aren't you, Cooper boy? Not enough light right Eight. here. Eight. And... Yeah, see it does. He is just all up in your business. You want some boiled peanuts too? Huh? I bet that salt's not good for you. So we got it set for 30 minutes. And we got uh we got it up, we got it set up to the highest setting. So we'll see you back here in another 30 minutes, guys. All right, foresters. We are back. It's been 30 minutes. And we are ready to check on the peanuts. We'll unlock it. I've already let the steam out. And anytime you lift it up, you always want to lift up the back first. So. You're still steaming. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Let's get this up. Put it on the um, stove top. Since it's super hot stove. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty warm. All right. All right. Oh, the smell. This really does smell good. Let's get a peanut out of here. You kind of get that garlicky smell now with it, too. Not 100% traditional, but we're trying to do a little healthier. I'm going to give one to Amy. Yeah, I'm gonna try one. Oh. Mm. Mm. Now that is a good boiled peanut. I kind of like it better like this. Yeah, with the garlic. Yeah, it's not it's as just, salty. And it's just a hint of garlic. Yeah. And besides, we could eat more garlic anyways. Right. <laughs> and you just need one of these. Bowl for Amy. Mm, nummies. Yes. And a bowl for me. Let me mm. see if I can find one of these. Oh, right here. Let me see. See, these are one of the little young ones. Mm -hmm. Kind of concaves a little bit like that. I love these because I just, just eat the whole thing. The ones that are, see if I can find one. They're even smaller than that. Mm. that are smooth or even better yeah here we go <sighs> these right here the ones that don't have the little ridges on them so there's no strings or anything like that these are just Mmm, delicious. Hold on, yeah, it didn't focus. There you go. You want to give one a try? No, I don't like the shells. Well, they're not crunchy. I don't care. I don't okay. want to eat no shells. <laughs> More for me. <laughs> yep, they're all yours, honey. Mm. Well, that's how easy it is to uh, make boiled peanuts in mm -hmm. a pressure cooker. Yep. I have a funny feeling these are going to be gone by tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think we're going to eat three pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe by tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. That means we got to plant more. Yep. All right, guys. Um, like I say, you've seen how easy this was. It really doesn't take much effort. So uh, get out there, get you some green peanuts and boil them. All right, guys. So it's the next day. We 
took the peanuts, put them in a plastic uh, Tupperware type container and filled that with the liquid. Put it in the fridge. Overnight, um, they sucked up more of the flavoring. And um, we just put them in some in a, you know, a small bowl, heat it up in the microwave for just a few seconds. And um, the taste is even better. There, there is a more saltier taste now, but it's not a powerful salty taste. And the garlic uh, powder is really starting to come through, so it's a really nice taste. Um, but these guys are awesome. Boiled peanuts, you can't can't beat it <laughs> and remember grow something for your family mm -hmm. hey guys if you like that video hit that like button remember that bell and subscribe and if you want to see any of the other videos check out everything over here